Hi, my name is Henriette and this is one of our horses. It's our breeding stallion and um, he is the kind of horse who does it all. He trail rides anywhere and he's a super harness jumper. We've focused on doing dressage the last couple of years, but today we're going to drive. First we're going to drive in the indoor and then outside in the snow. Almost two years since last time he was in the harness. So let's see what he remembers. This horse is genuinely friendly and cooperative every day. When I train a horse, I am always careful to ensure the safety of both the horse and people. I've had this horse since he was three years old. He's now 10. He has never kicked out in the cart. Anyway, I drive different horses and always use a leather strap. This strap prevents the horse from being able to kick out and hit the carriage. I don't want a hindquarter on the wrong side of a shaft. Another of my safety habits, why keep him up like this? If something happens and I need to detach the harness from the carriage, maybe fast, keeping the straps up in a loop like this makes the buckles faster to open. Turlin has great work ethics. He is a forward kind of horse. If you ask him to go, he just goes. He just loves to do stuff. I like to check if the horse willingly turns in both directions by doing a few big circles. He feels supple, trotting along. We have nice, even and light contact on each rein. It's a steady rhythm and tempo. And look at his ears. Relaxed, but attentive. I like to turn on the haunches in both directions. And then I observe how the hindquarters are crossing over. I like to see that he steps over in an even pace on both, uh, in both directions and that he keeps his neck and body relaxed. So watch his ears, they're relaxed, he steps nicely over. I also want to do some transitions and to make sure he's not throwing his head or getting tense in transitions. Tulin is uh, thinking forward and he's moving freely. If you look at his uh, neck and back, he is relaxed and his tail is like swinging nicely. And uh, he's able to stretch and he looks happy. So a good stretch is great. When I ask for halt, I want him to step into the halt and stay with his feet evenly. I'm happy with uh, how he was driving and I think we can go out for a walk. It sure is cold outside, but uh, it doesn't look like it bothers him at all. When the wheels break ice underneath the snow, it makes a sharp sound sometimes. Turlin is great, he couldn't care less. If you want to make a new turn someplace, having a horse who turns on the haunches, that's very convenient. 
This is why I teach my young horses to move away from trails and across ditches. That way you can turn around anywhere. The farm straight ahead now, Nurminsos, that's our home. It's a beautiful place with a view of the fjord on the other side. Here, the fjord is covered by fog. It's written about settlements here since 1330. Most likely been settlements before that as well, considering the location. Let's go to Stiklastad. The avenue here is four kilometers long. And here is the Stiklastad church, or Stekstad Kjerska, as they say here. And it's a great hotel and great food here. But <clears throat> there is more that I'd like to show you. So hang on. The king who Christianized Norway nearly a thousand years ago, in the year 1030. This is the statue of Olav den Hellige, or Saint Olav. If you consider the confirmation of the horse and the road name, I believe he chose to ride a fjord horse. I don't know, but you can see it for yourself. A fjord horse. Obviously, Saint Olaf had a taste of her quality. Taking care of the fjord horse is taking care of a part of the Norwegian cultural heritage. Our way of preserving the fjord horse heritage is by contributing to breeding a kind, healthy, safe and durable horse, as well as using fjord horses to spread a sense of achievement and joy. Look at the frost smoke. Now I think the spring can come. To me, spring means warmth. To Turlen, spring means the arrival of beautiful mirrors. We're both looking forward to spring. Until next time, you take care and keep the fire in the oven.